Okay, guys, so um, actually, whilst this is loading, I'm going to basically say, so we finished the game, and I'm going to give you a little review of it whilst whilst it's actually loading in the background. So I did play the game a little bit after I stopped recording. Didn't do anything fancy, just flew around, had a bit of fun, blew things up. So I'm going to give you a very basic review of the game, what I think of the game, and an overall sort of score out of 10. So, Just Cause 3, what's good about it? Well, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's exactly what Just Cause 2 is. Fun, lots of explosions, lots of action, lots of silly stunts. The physics are a bit loopy. You've got a huge open world. So it's quite literally a game that you can just pick up, drive around in, blow shit up, have a load of fun. The graphics are good. I know necessarily you can't necessarily tell from the videos, but that's because I record into a 720p. And <clears throat> you definitely feel you're in a nice open world area with plenty to at least explore and do. This I'm trying to think what else I was going to say then. So yeah, overall the game is a lot of fun. Now, <coughs> excuse me, have a drink. <coughs> Now, what's bad about it? Well, the problem with, with Just Cause 3 is that it's extremely open. Now, you might, some people love the open world. Now, I like the open world, but I also dislike the fact that it has very little in the way of direction. From the moment you start the game, the plot is extremely sort of loose. You you know you... you whoa! There was <laughs> It's just stole the car he's leaning on. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of funny. <coughs> what was I saying? So from, from the plot line, it, you know, from the start, it's extremely loose. You start on an aeroplane in Medici, as you find out, which is uh, Rico's home work, hometown. And then you're sort of thrust into upon this action where you're fighting the military, you're fighting with the rebels. You meet Mario, and that's it. You're introduced to characters that are from previous Just Cause games, but there's no backstory, there's no explanation for them. There's nothing to sort of say, here's Sheldon, here's what he's done in the past, here's Dima, here's what happens in the past, here's, you know, here's Rico, this is all in this past. The, the whole sort of story is extremely, sort of, is extremely thin. Now, maybe there's more to it if you get all the tapes or you find all the extra bits and pieces but at the end of the day you have no real connection with the characters you know when Dima dies yeah you're sad but you've got yourself think eh, well who is she what, what did she do other than investigate Bavarium you know what, what on earth was so important that I have to remember I have to know about her so in a way it's extremely sad Ed that the game just doesn't have that kind of plot line at the same time, the missions are quite sparse. You're basically left to your own devices. The mission indicator, for instance, isn't something that's constantly on screen. Now, some people like that, but for me, that was really confusing as I sort of said, right, here you are, you've just done this mission, go to the next one. I said, well, where is it? Where is the mission? And you have to search for it on the map, and it could be on the other side of the map, which is kind of dumb. You know, it's. It's not the openness is good, but at the same time it's bad because you're sort of saying, you know, here's your entire world to explore, go explore it. But some of them people sort of say, well, I don't want to explore it. I want to move on with the storyline. What do I have to do to move on the storyline? Now, I prefer. Now that's just me. I had the same problem with like Far Cry 4 because it did exactly the same thing. It sort of just left you to your own devices. It didn't say, or at least it didn't show me. In a, in, a, in a way that I actually memorized that you need to go off and follow go off to the missions to carry on with the story and the same for Just Cause 3 I just felt it, the, the direction was not really clear now the other part is obviously in order to carry on with the storyline you had to liberate provinces now nothing wrong with that except it, it was extremely samey you 
feel that you know after the first 10 or so provinces you sort of first 10 or so liberations you start to see a pattern emerging go along blow this base up go along to this town or city blow these things up kill these people oh you know rescue these rebels do this do that the it gets extremely samey it's extremely repetitive after a while yeah there's a bit of um change later on when you have to liberate the big bases and the airports and everything but even then it still blow this up blow that up it would it would benefit more from a more sort of you know grab this thing escort that do this and yeah those missions do exist but they're all sort of hidden side quests which you may or may not choose to do now speaking of side quests we also have to look at things, the gear mods now i got through the game without getting too much of those i got a fair few but for instance i didn't get the multiple grapple things i still managed to cope with two grapples i, I didn't get the um air brake for the for the um what do you call it the wingsuit i didn't get that so in the end what i ended up doing was just playing the game as if it was completely vanilla and my headphones are going funny i'm going to take these off you, you, so you guys can hear fine, but for some reason it starts buzzing my headphones, and my hair is horrible. <laughs> Ooh, I actually lost my connection. How about that? <laughs> um, the the general sort of issue is, and I've completely lost my train of thought now. So yeah, the repetitiveness, the fact that you have to do things the same over and over and over again, just gets extremely repetitive. So, but obviously once you finish the game, it's it's great, you can go and actually liberate the entire island and then do whatever you want. But the fact that the gear mods aren't necessarily essential and you sort of have this lack of direction makes you sort of feel that you just don't need to do half the game. It's all filler. So that's extremely annoying, you know, which is sad because the game is good, like I said, and especially when the people who made it have actually listened to the fans. They actually listened and looked at the mods that were making, being made, and actually thought that's actually quite a good idea. Let's put let's put this into the Just Cause Three, and they did that. You know, the multiple grapples, the explosives, you know, all kinds of things like that. So, overall, and I was finally getting to that. Overall, my opinion of this game is it's good. It needed something else. It needed a bit more direction, but it's good fun. You can pick it up, play it for 10 minutes, and have, have fun. A bit like Grand Theft Auto. You, know, you can do that, but it's not got complexity of Grand Theft Auto, which is, a, which is a shame, because it could have, and it could be quite good. So, out of 10, I'm going to give it a 6. You know, it's better than average, but it needs more. Now, there is DLC coming, but it's called Land, Sea, and Air. Or air, sea, and land, or something like that. Where basically it's going to be new vehicles and supposedly new missions and stuff like that. But for me, that's not something that's drastically appealing in terms of gameplay. Because if it's just more of the same stuff, then it's not really something that's going to make me say, Ooh, I want to buy that. So, as far as games go, this is probably going to be the last video for Just Cause 3, unless something substantial comes out or something cool comes out of an interesting mod all interesting aspects and, or something more than just a few odd missions here and there. okay guys thanks for watching my review of just cause 3 stick around for other reviews at some point i might even try and change the logo down here and say cause windows reviews <laughs> but i thought to do that so until next time see you later